Hi everyone, this is James, back with more commentary. This is from the World Championships. Sice versus Massey Alice in the round of 16 with Florin Jorge refereeing, so you know it's going to be a good bout. Well, if Sice can't stop Massey Alice attacking, he'll lose. It's a pretty nice situation to be in at the start. Seems like Matsyalis is pretty safe going forward, and also that uh, Sice is also pretty safe going forward, so I guess we're going to see a lot of aggressive action here in this bout, as each one tries to get into that position. Probably some movement in the middle as well. Now uh, Sice has it. Hmm. That's big. He's got a counterattack that's worked, so not totally safe going forward for uh, Masialis now. Ah, not for Sice either. So looks like it's going to be an even match. Both very very tall fencers. Nice finish. Very very nice. Both of them uh, well above six foot. So I'm expecting a lot of long attacks, not as much infighting. Just because it wouldn't be exactly their style. Yep, oh, Massey Alice the last second. It's a shame. It's already quite a good result for Sice as a 16 out of World Championships. Seeing as he's quite young. Trading marches back and forth. Very little pyro pass so far in this match. Very good. Aggression seems to be favouring them. Again, very much so in the middle. Not so much fire or pass. That's been the trend so far in this match, just marching forward, seeing if they can finish, other person mainly trying to pull short. And it's rewarded each even though equally, so another simultaneous. Really not that common. In bait. <laughs> just amazing. That was beautiful. Well, he won't be trying that again, I guess. But nice that it worked. Uh, now he's got some momentum with him. Is the uh, aggression is paying off? Masial is probably trying to put a bit of a dent in that by uh, coming forward off the line a bit harder, seeing if he can take the initiative. Nice and slow. Tries to set up the counter attack with point nine, but not quite. So, the march has worked for many of Masialis's points. If he can get it going, then it's probably a good good idea. And there we go again. It really does seem like whoever is on the attack on the attack in this match is uh, in control. And so, it seems we're going to get a lot of simultaneouses in the middle, much like Saber. up here. There's Clybrink in the background, the old master. 
against the sun. Okay, they've sorted that out and each one has had a bit of time to think because of that. So let's see if that has an effect. Hmm. That's the second time Sice has tried for that particular uh, parry coming forward off the line and it hasn't worked either time, but it hasn't not worked either time. And he's got the parry both times, so it seems relatively safe. Wouldn't be surprised to see it come out again. Oh, got the march. And it's working for him. He just needs to get the march going. It's, it's had a very, very high success rate so far. Uh, maybe Masialis got a little too comfortable with the uh, simultaneous attacks. Whatever it is, uh... Slice. Slice has got a big call here. Florence sticks with it. Now another moment for each fencer to uh, pause. Have a bit of thinking time. 10 seconds or so. <laughs> Obviously Sice wants a little more thinking time. It's tying his shoe. At 8 apiece it's uh, really not the moment to mess up. Is it early? Just is there safety. Ooh. Now that was good. I didn't think that was going to land. But he just managed to squeak it on on the shoulder. I see Alice looking a little more hesitant with the march now. He tries it again, and for a third time it doesn't quite work, but uh, it still doesn't backfire. I, I think maybe we might see it once uh, before the end of this match, because he's, become, he's gotten so close with that thrice now, coming in close with the parry and trying to finish. Oh, dangerous march, precise. Quick thinking from Masialis there. And much the same from, from Sice going for the uh, instant counter attacks after their marches fail. Seems to be working well for both of them. Wow. Big, big risk from Sice there giving the uh, march to Masialis in the middle after it's worked so much, but he messes it up and manages to find that counter attack. Oh, the simultaneous hit. Size wants some video. We've seen many, uh, many more simultaneous calls here in this bout than in both bouts in general. But I guess that's what happens when you have two uh, powerful attackers. Call stands. Score is looking much more favourable towards Sice now, obviously, 12-9. If he can find a way to stop uh, Masiaus' march from working, then he can probably close it up now. Oh, that'll do it! Was he or was he not? Let's have a look. Hit. Oh, I think he hit before he went off the end. And he doesn't quite fall over, so I don't think he can get got for folly. But, um, he does kind of fall over there. Let's see what Hore thinks. Do 
Incredible from Sias. That was really nice. Oh, he's starting to win more in the middle. Very, very bad strategically for Masialis if he can't rely on uh, simultaneous hits as safety for going forward. Yep. Those are two big, big hits there, and now it's 14-9. And while we all know Masialis has come back from this kind of thing before, it's certainly not something you want to have to do. Okay, March paying off for him, just like before. Oh, that was well timed. Now would not be a good time uh, to lose your head. He just really wants it to be over, it seems like, the pole. Attack is relatively safe. There we go. Wow. <laughs> now that's a result. Such a young guy off into the uh, quarterfinals. And he beat Masialis to do it. That's a great match. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any others that you'd uh, like me to see, send them my way. Bye now.